everyone, how are you going? Karen Finnan here, physiotherapist and director of Online Physio. So health professionals out there, I need to have a little chat to you. I was scrolling through Facebook the other day, as I do, and I'm a member of a group of, from a, I guess a women's podcast that I listen to. They've got a big associated following, and in the Facebook group, they share a lot of quandaries that, um, you know, groups of women would chat about. And one of the posts really resonated with me and I wanted to share it with you today um, because I think there's a really strong lesson in there for all of us allied health uh, professionals, um, particularly ARPA registered health professionals um, with a really credible sort of um, health background. So this is the post, I'm gonna just censor it slightly. I don't want to identify or name and shame anyone. I'm not about that at all, but the sentiment is, I think is really important. So she reads, guys, I need to get something off my chest. One of the most listened to podcasts in Australia right now is hosted by a wellness influencer with, from what I can glean, zero qualifications and her content creator boyfriend. Each episode, they give health advice and tips to their listeners. They have thousands of five-star reviews and have only been creating episodes for about a month. She also says, no hate towards alternative medicine. I've used acupuncture for my chronic asthma before. So this certainly isn't a hate against natural medicine. She says, how do we feel about this? I see it as rather problematic that two unqualified people are giving health advice to the masses, especially when one of those people has strongly hinted that she's suffered disordered eating in the past. It's so high up in the charts and I need to talk about it. Please tell me if I'm overreacting, please. So the comments that ensued from that were really interesting. Some people knew this influencer and liked her work, but a lot of them were saying, where are the credible health professionals giving us this information? And this is where I wanna reach out to you guys. For some reason in our, um, I suppose, our regulated health professions, we feel that our credibility may be singed by getting out there, by blowing our own trumpet, by doing all the marketing things that we see, you know, fitness professionals doing and um, healthy eaters doing and all of that sort of stuff. But I want you to see, and I know I need to tell myself as well, that people are asking for it. They want this information out there by qualified, evidence-backed health professionals. And that's where we come in. So rather than feeling like getting our message out there and hitting the social channels and being on videos and podcasts is selling out in some way, it's absolutely not. It's doing the opposite. It's bringing our high quality education, skills, and um, you know actions into the mainstream media. And that's what we need to do. It's not enough just to sit in our clinics anymore and stay there and wait until people come in and pay us to give our brilliant advice we have to be getting these messages out there. So it certainly resonated with me and made me more determined to get my great messages out there to my online physio um, patients and potential patients. Um, but what can you be doing to reach out more? Maybe you've been um, watching a bit of stuff online but not really getting into it yourself. Get your great quality information out there. Get you out there because the public are asking for it. I hope that's enough of a talking to. Um, get onto it, get your good quality information out into the world and the world will thank you for it. All right, I uh, look forward to speaking to you next time, guys. See you later, bye.